right guys here we are for the GoDaddy.com um, modified series we're here for race five here at um whoa what the hell that was a glitch look at the pace truck it's ridiculous and anyway, we're about to go back we're about to go green flag racing here we got Cody Llamas on the pole and we got Tucker now. It's right next to him, the rookie. We got a 12 car field getting ready to race here. And, um, here at Martinsville. Here we go. Oh, and they, there they go. Three wide already. There goes Levi Scones on the bottom. He's going to get in the Cody Llamas. They're three wide already. Here at Martinsville, they're going to drag race down the straightaway. I have never seen this in modifies. Three, three, um, three wide racing. And Tucker now will take the lead. And Levi Scones is coming though. Oh, and somebody's way up the racetrack. I think that's Bob Marshall right there. And there goes Alexander Dawson in the back, and Connor Breton's really falling to the back now. And Seth Cole's up there. He can he can maintain his uh, lead right now. Dance big, not good. Anyway. Um, we got, Co we got, there goes Levi Scones. Levi Scones finally clears Cody Lamas on the bottom lane of the racetrack. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna try to put his sights out there. And look at the run he just got. He just got a run on Tucker Nuts just now. And he's right on Tucker Nuts. Look at the, look at the back of, we're gonna take a look at the back of Tucker Nuts' car. And there goes Levi, Le there goes Levi Scones right over him in the AC Deco, Deco, <laughs> AC Delco. Um, 57 car. And here he comes. He's right there. And Levi Scones. Levi Scones has not won a race yet in any of my series. And he's really trying to get one done. He's right there on Tucker Nows. There goes Justin Perry. Finally having some good runs. And Seth Cole's going to get under D Dylan Poteet. Two good guys right here. Both, both of these guys have great, great uh, series right now. Dylan has the Mountain Dew Cup Series and the Mopar Nationwide Series. Seth has all his N and SCRA Series. The go watch the Indy, the National Guard Indy Cup Series, well Indy Car Series, Indy Car Series, Race One, Season Two. Go check that out. Anyway, um, anyway, Dylan Pochi's gonna fall down. He has, yeah, he's getting ready to start his Season Two. Here he, oh no, Bob Marshall's in the wall. Oh man, Bill Raymond just turned him. Oh man, Bill Raymond just turned him. Oh yeah, so get ready for Dylan's two series. Uh, they're getting ready to start again, so get ready. Don't request a car, but get ready for the signups because they sh they're coming soon when he gets done with his series. But anyway, we're going to take a look at what happened to Bob Marshall. All right, here we go. It looks like Bill Raymond just, you know, he's all over Bob Marshall and just turns Bob Marshall in the wall. I don't know what the hell he was doing. He turns Bob Marshall right in the wall and rides Bob Marshall down the wall. Kind of looks, it kind of looks like a Kurt Busch. It kind of looks like a Brian Vickers, uh, Matt Kenseth rack. Brian Vickers rode freaking Matt Kenseth all the way down the racetrack here, I think it was. He wrecked Matt Kenseth. That was funny. Same thing. Same thing with Bill Raymond and Bob Marshall. Bob Marshall will probably not be happy about that, and we will take it to the green flag. Okay, guys, I missed it. I missed the start, but Tucker Nels is right there. Is right in the lead, but he has Levi Scones all over him. Here comes Levi Scones on the bottom of the racetrack. He's gonna get him. Levi Scones is right there. He has him right there, and Levi Scones cannot get the job done. But look who's coming, Justin Perry. Has not had the best of seasons at all, and he is coming. He is coming right now. And Barney Ward. Oh, no. Barney Ward almost got in trouble. He's way in the back. But anyway, there goes Dylan Poti sitting up there in eighth right now. And there's Connor Breen. Connor Breen's trying to get up in the top five, and he was, he was weighing 12. He was seven spots from that last, like, at the beginning of the race. 
There goes Levi's Cones. There he goes right there. He's going to try to go on the inside. But he can still not get the job done. But here comes here comes Justin Perry. He's going to go on the outside. And then there's a big battle back here with Cody Lama, Seth Cole, uh, Justin, uh, Connor Breeden, and Bill Raymond. And Bill Raymond's probably going to take over Connor Breeden right here. But there goes Cody Lama right there. And here we go. There go there goes Levi Scones right there. And here comes Justin Perry. Justin Perry has taken second away from Levi Scones. He has his he has his sights set on Tucker Nuss, but they're they're both gonna keep racing each other. And Levi Scones finally clears Justin Perry, but Justin Perry's gonna get him back on the outside. They've been racing hard here. And now lap fifteen. Oh and Oh, and Levi Scones getting the Justin Perry right here. And it, they've been racing hard ever since about lap 10. And they, they are not letting anything go down right. Anything. They are not letting anything down right now. They're not going to let go. And they there goes Seth Cole sitting right up there in uh, fourth place. He got past, uh, he Somehow he got past Cody Lamas. But Seth's car has looked pretty good all day. And I'm... I'm really impressed with that modified. And, but here comes Connor Breen just shoots to the bottom. What a move by Connor Breen. He's been taking a lot of risks lately in a lot of series, but but it's been going good for him, I guess. But Tucker announced should take lap 17. He's gained a about like two second lead over these guys right now. Levi Scones has got by Justin Perry finally, but it looks like he's a little bit too late to catch this guy. Tucker now so will probably win his first race of the season. If he could keep it just like this and Connor Breeden is right under Seth Cole. Seth Cole is Seth Cole is he's he's in he's in the points lead right now and if he keeps running like this he's gonna look pretty good to try to win the championship. There goes the two white cars right here, Ryan Acosta and uh, Alexander Dawson. Alexander Dawson's having a terrible day right now. It looks like he just can't keep his car in the bottom lane. Every time he keeps it on the bottom lane, it looks like he hits the curb and he goes up the racetrack. And he has Bob Marshall right over him now. Bob Marshall is going to try to pass him now. In last place is Barney Ward. Barney Ward has totally, totally, he went from winning last week to like, dead last this week he's having a terrible car today he's up there in points he's about third in points not good for him today well but here comes levi scones he's bringing justin perry with him they are almost on the last lap and here they go oh but justin perry's gonna make a move to the bottom but i don't think he's gonna do it because levi scones is pushing the hell out of um tucker nouse right now but here they come into the final lap Tucker now will see the white flag. He doesn't have to worry about anything. If he could just make it one more lap, he will get this win. And be the first rookie. He'll be the only rookie and the only rookie to win here at Martinsville. Because I don't think a rookie has ever won here at Martinsville. In my series. But anyway. Levi Scones is right there. But can he do anything? He'll put the bumper to the back of his car. Try to give him the chrome horn. But he will not do it. Leave Tucker in house. Comes down. He will hold off Levi Scones and win at Martinsville. He finally got a win. He's always been up in the front. He finally gets one in that 24. Anyway. And dead last will be Barney Ward after finishing first at Zen Jotis. Uh, we'll see. We'll see you for the results. All right, here's the results, and we're just gonna point out a few drivers. Congratulations to Tucker Nouse. But how about Justin Perry and Connor Breton? Both of them guys had awesome cars today. Could have won the race, but man, it did. Both of those guys are having season turnarounds right now. Connor Breton, he he had a bad race at Daytona, and 
so uh, well since after Daytona, he's been kind of on a roll right now. Seth Cole was in the top five for most of the race, but Bill Raymond got by him at the end to finish fifth. But there goes Cody Lama, seventh, starting on the pole, but for the first time, the guy on the pole didn't win the race. And it's happened a lot in my series. The guy that is on the pole doesn't always win the race. Ryan Acosta, Alexander Dawson, Bob Marshall, and Barney Ward going from first to last. He's going from a hero to a zero in this race. So, we'll take a look at the standings. Here's your standings. Seth Cole is still in front, but look at Connor Breeden. Connor Breeden goes up in the second in standings, and he's only 17 points behind. And Tucker Nouse and Alexander Dawson and Ryan Acosta, these five guys right here are so close to each other. Most of these guys know how to win a championship because they've done it in a lot of other series. But Barney Ward, Barney Ward is right up there. He was he was third, but he fell down to about six in points. Dylan Poti's eleventh in points now, and Bob Marshall dead last in points, and Justin Perry was dead last in points. But after his two races, he got up to tenth. He's in the top ten in points now, and Bill Raymond's in the top ten in points now too. So. But it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long three races to the end of this season, race eight. So we're gonna see who's gonna be the points leader at the last race at race eight. But it's pretty much a battle between these five right here. So see you. See you for race six.